I took a little break, but hopefully back to daily videos now. New leaks tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching. I don't know if you've noticed, Fahim, but it's been it's been two weeks. Where Where's that video? Where's that uh, daily upload? You seem to be uh, a little quiet as of recent. Why is that? Here we have an entertaining little tidbit from Fahim's Discord, where jpokemaster8 says, Hey, Fahim, why haven't you been uploading? This was on the 25th. So a while ago now, uh, Fahim has been very quiet. Uh, it's almost like he wants to leave. Can't really blame him now that everyone knows that he's been scamming this entire time. So he says, that's a great question, my friend. Just been taking a break, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha. Hopefully video tomorrow. Double smiley face. And for everyone that watched my last video, um, I suggest you do if you haven't. The double smiley face is a signature that Fahim likes to leave at the end of a comment, whether it be his own account or a fake account that he created to win a giveaway. So great, great job continuing to expose yourself. Uh, what else do we need to look at here? Let's, uh, now that uh, we don't know where he's been, let's take a look at why we know he can't afford these giveaways. Uh, Largely because he's a student. We'll get into how we know that. Uh, we've seen multiple times now that he lives at home with his family. Uh, and probably not in a very large dwelling. Since you can hear his mom and sister on several occasions in the background. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, the openings themselves are pretty sad. Uh, the few that he has done and the fact that he does them outside to avoid the noise in the background. Or maybe because he doesn't have a proper spot to show them off. Uh, he doesn't want to show that uh, that he's in a house, uh, that he doesn't have an actual setup. Maybe you won't want to subscribe to his Patreon for financial advice if you don't see that he's at a ball and desk opening Pokemon packs. And uh, I think to finish out the video, let's take a look at all of the suspicious accounts that are commenting on his latest video. That'll take a while, so if you stick around for that... You are a champion in my eyes. Let's get started. Just in case you missed it, here's some clips of his family interrupting. That there. Sorry, ignore my family. Let me tell them to be quiet. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's the YouTube video. Start, and it's gonna just uh, shuffle through, blah, blah, blah. Mr. Chan, hold on. So I'm just shouting my mom to be quiet. Okay, so this is a legitimate account. And how I, sorry. Sorry, my family is just a little bit loud. Apologies. Um, okay, so. So after admitting that he lives with his family, uh, with his mom specifically, meaning it's his parents, not his family that uh, he's created as a parent, I mean, uh, his newest video plays off like it's a fun thing that his kid sister is singing in the background uh, and that was by choice uh, it didn't seem like he was upset about it he wanted to kind of make it more of a playful thing which is fine uh, but uh, at this point we're calling you out for uh, fake giveaways and living with your family so you can't afford those giveaways so it's no longer like a cute thing to, uh, to add into your video uh, it's just kind of playing on the fact that you know we called you out on it and uh, and now you're just going to uh, include that as sort of a little gag pretty funny uh, she has a promising career just make sure that she doesn't scam people uh, while she's creating that career Asia's fee card you might have noticed that we because if you look at the Asia's V card you might have all right we're here on the Fahim channel so let's take a look at everything that he purchases and opens himself. Uh, you know you got to flex, right? If you're giving away tens of thousands of dollars, you certainly got to show stuff off. Surely he's opening some crazy stuff, um, even though he's only been on YouTube for a short period of time. If we control F and we go to opening, uh, surely we'll come up with some really great videos. Let's open those all up in another tab and take a look at them individually. Right here. Here we have the first opening video, uh, which is uh, not an actual opening. 
this is just Fahim um, ripping someone's opening and uh, kind of pretending that it's his, I guess. Probably not entirely letting on that it's his, but uh, when you put opening four new Pokemon Celebrations pack leaks, um, that sort of implies that you're the one opening them. Sorry to tell you. So uh, you might want to avoid that. Here we have opening 25th anniversary golden box Pokemon Celebrations leaked. Uh, so surely this is going to be his box, right? Uh, no, it's it's not. He's just showing pictures of it, claiming that he's going to get one, uh, both the English and Japanese variety, uh, and also promising that he's going to do some sort of giveaway with them, uh, which is also not going to happen because he can't give away cash and he can't give away these. He probably is not going to even get one of these for himself uh, because he is poor. Here we go. Wait, is this opening a Celebrations Elite Trainer box? This has got to be him, right? Oh, wait, we got giveaways to shuffle through. Uh, no, again, this is uh, not him opening. This is Gary's Pokemon, so he's going to pretend. Uh, he's going to make a video pretending, I guess, in the title and thumbnail that he's actually the one opening it. But no, it's our slime boy, Gary, the slimy wimey. You guys remember him from previous videos. So there we go. Three videos in a row. The first three videos with the opening and the title. Uh, all of which not actually Fahim opening anything. Weird. Weird. Really strange for someone that's going to charge people Patreon dollars for advice on finances and investing in modern Pokemon cards uh, when he can't uh, can't afford to do any actual openings himself. But wait a minute. Here it is. Here's an actual Fahim opening. And you might be asking yourself, why the hell is he doing an opening on some bricks next to some grass? Well, I'll tell you what, he's doing that because his family would disturb him otherwise. Here he is, he's opening his Celebrations ETB. What a lucky boy. Maybe he spent his allowance on it, uh, seeing as he's still living at home with his parents and his kid sister. We'll go through here. Yes, he opens the whole thing. Uh, funny enough, the, the, the thumbnail for this includes the product that was in the next video. So... What's the MSRP on uh, on one of these? It's like $50 US. So there we go. We got a, a big baller, $50. That's half your first giveaway that you faked. And then uh, these guys that were in the background of the first one, so I guess it was all one trip. Maybe it was his birthday or something, and his parents got him uh, got him an ETB and a couple uh, couple pin collections here. So he's got the, uh, the Zayshan. Again, opening outside because... Um, he probably doesn't have a proper desk or set up to do something like this and can't afford to, to put something together um, or just can't be bothered. Now, it's also probably why he's not in any of the videos that he makes, um, other than the fact that, I mean, you don't really want to show your face if you're scamming people. That kind of goes hand in hand. Oh, look, he's got a couple booster packs too. Uh, so it looks like he's he's got he's opened a little bit over $100 in, uh, in product. Very impressive. Quite the bother. You probably should have just given these away instead of that $100 that you fake gave away. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. For those of you wondering how I know Fahim is a student, look no further than his own Discord, uh, where he sort of gives that away. Uh, I also found this when I went to record. It was pretty funny. Uh, so I'm going to include that as well. Uh, it's Roru44 asks Fahim, where do you usually get your product from in Sydney? And he says, I have my suppliers. Dude, we just saw <laughs> you, you've only opened like three products and they weren't even large products. Oh no, four. You had the uh, the booster box as well. Evolving Skies booster box, the Elite Trainer box celebrations, and the, uh, the two pin collections. So you got four items. I don't think you need a supplier from that other than you probably just went down to a department store and uh, pick them up off the shelf to make anyone think otherwise is an absolute joke. But more importantly, um, here is Fahim asking one of the people in the chat uh, if they go to school near Hornsby by any chance, uh, implying that Fahim does. Um, and then uh, they say yes. Does it start with an N? Um, I don't know. That's kind of a, you probably don't be asking, um, people, I'm assuming that Ginger was 
named Blackie at one point in time. Probably don't want to ask them if something starts with an N. Uh, <laughs> might be inappropriate, but um, I guess he was hoping that uh, this ginger individual went to the same school as him. Doesn't surprise me. He's living at home, going to school. Doesn't have the money for a hundred dollar giveaway. Doesn't have the money for pro product. Um, certainly doesn't have a supplier unless you're going to count a department store as a supplier, uh, or even maybe a friend picked them up from the department store and sold them. Or maybe he's talking about his parents. It was his birthday. He got a few Pokemon items from them, and uh, they supply him with it. His birthday supplies him with it. Also, um, I'm not going to go into it uh, with more personal details, um, but um, easily confirmed that uh, it is indeed him, and he does indeed go to N. Here's a fun little tidbit from the comments. Australian Blastoise picks up on the fact that the $100 winner, Veronica, wrote, I'm so shocked, and that Mr. Chan, the $1,000 winner, pinned comment on Fahim's recent Logan Paul BGS video, says, uh, <laughs> I'm so shocked. No, so just change the literally to actually. Very, very cool. <laughs> another, another trap. Another little mistake made by our boy Fahim. Uh, pretty funny. I mean, so careless, uh, but entertaining at the least. Uh, even an amateur detective uh, like myself and the people in the comments able to, uh, to find these mistakes made. Had to see it coming. Thanks for providing that, and thanks to everyone that uh, provides any information, whether it be through DMs, if you want to remain anonymous, or in the comments themselves. Uh, love to hear it, love to see it. I'm sure I miss lots of stuff, so if you uh, if you find anything, let me know. This last part might be a little long, a little long-winded, but got to put it in here. Maybe you have to two exit. I would recommend it. There's a lot of comments to look at here by accounts that don't look very real. I think to finish things off here, let's take a look at all the comments on the latest video put out by Fahim. Uh, that's all I had time for. Kind of painful. Now, I did exclude a lot of them that did look real, mostly because I'd say at least 90% of those were children who, uh, I guess, uh, as a child, you can fall for stuff like this. Um, the odd person that probably wasn't paying attention, and then maybe some other people that are know it's fake, but at the same time, they, they really feel the need to comment anyway because they don't want to miss out just in case there's some small... Um, it's not small. There's no small chance. Uh, he's not giving anything out. Uh, as we've seen, he's not going to give you $100. So you're definitely not winning 1000 or 10000 or whatever shit he wants to make up. Important to note for this, that his first Pokemon video, Fahim's first Pokemon video, was on uh, July 27th, 2021. So we're going to see a lot of accounts made after that. I would assume that most of those are him. Um, they might not all be. Uh, my apologies if some real person that looks like a fake account isn't actually a fake account. But we're going to go through everything that looks suspicious. I'm sure some of these that were um, before the uh, July 27th, 2021 uh, could also be a bot account. Um, so and he, do he probably doesn't have the funds, uh, or maybe that's where all the prize money is going. He's spending it on bot accounts and bot subscriptions instead of uh, actual prizes that he's promising. So something like this account here, uh, where it has nothing posted, it's just a name. Could be a real person. Um, probably not, though. Convenient um, that they just created an account. So this might be a purchased account, or uh, whoever, if, if Fahim's buying um, views and comments uh, from some shady source, it could be some just burner account that they have on their, uh, on their roll. <clears throat> so here we have September 16th. Or September 6th, 6th, 2021. Um, 
after Fahim started, nothing to show other than the fact that they just made their account. Uh, nothing updated. Probably fake. Uh, I did pull all the people making positive comments uh, or trying to enter a giveaway. Um, so here we go. Another one. FR Pokemon. August 8th, 2021. Fake again. So a large chunk of these are fake. Um, and between the fake, the fake accounts and the little kids that are uh, obsessed with Minecraft and uh, and that sort of thing. It's pretty much the entirety of his, his comment section. So we'll keep going. July 2020. So this one here. I mean, <clears throat> I included some of these just because it could be an indication that he's he's purchasing these, these comments. Zachary McInnes. So we got October 15th, 2020. Same with this one. Uh, similar, just account that's commenting. Uh, this one here is interesting because they did upload a video a couple weeks ago, 11 seconds long, uh, but September 19th, <clears throat> 2021. Coincidence, maybe. Uh, maybe we'll give them that one. Uh, Aiton Perry. March 3rd, 2021. So again, probably a purchased account or purchased comment. Herbert Armstead. Whole lot of nothing. Uh, October 27th. Super recent. Got it like that. Ben Vanderberg. We got 2017, so he looked a little bit of an older one, but again, uh, it could be those um, companies or sketchy detchies that provide bot accounts uh, that didn't bother to fill out or upload or, or favorite anything or follow anything. Uh, the strange thing is, too, um, the accounts that were commenting usually weren't and that showed their followers or their channels that they're, that they're subscribed to were not following Fahim, but they were still commenting. Um, so here we got a uh, an upload. Life Made Easy TV, October 24th, 2021. Philippines, I don't know. Maybe it's real, maybe it's not. Let you guys decide. I know when I look through my comments, I certainly don't have this many people that haven't added a photo. Typically, someone that's going to show enough engagement to comment on something, um, at least change their, their picture and or name somehow. August 18th, 2017. So, I mean, that one's that one's probably a real person. They just don't have anything uh, in, their, in their stuff. September 10th, 2020, so a year-old account. October 31st, 2021, random dude on the internet. That looks like a, uh, an account that was created. Uh, also important to note that at this point, if anyone watched the last giveaway, they should know that Fahim's process is going to eliminate uh, accounts like this. Uh, me showing these is just to emphasize the fact that he uh, there's fake accounts um, commenting and uh, liking and, and watching his stuff. Probably mostly controlled by him and or uh, someone that he paid to, to do it through bots. October 23rd, 2021. Following <laughs> or subscribe to Leonhart, Vidmag, and Fahim. Okay. Also, it would be interesting if we end up running into one of the uh, future future giveaway winners, although I, I doubt very much that Fahim's going to come back and do giveaways at this point. Uh, he should know that he can't fake them at this point. Although, I mean, we've given him enough clues that uh, he should have a pretty good idea of how to uh, to at least use an account and make it not seem uh, like it was him on it. We got Wayman. Another September 26, 2021. Brand new account. Alfie Webster. Seven subscribers. Uh, this is 2016. Not sure why I included this one. Uh, looks like a, an older dead account. Uh, doesn't look. Maybe they uploaded something at one point in time. Aaron Van Eek Laxenin. Uh 2021, July. So this would have been right before Fahim started his uh, Pokemon videos. But again, could be, could be a bot. William Kowalski. I would imagine that a lot of these bot accounts get banned. Um, so I would think that most of them would be newer accounts um, that the the people are using to sell views and sell subscriptions and sell comments. 
September 19, 2021. That's, again, after Fahim started his videos. Is it Fahim? We don't know. This person has created a playlist. Interesting. Uh, 2020, again, I mean, it doesn't take much for them to change the image and create a playlist. Is it a real person? Maybe more likely than a lot of these. So that Yang, whole lot nothing. Uh, 2018, and even these, if if the account doesn't get banned, doesn't get caught by whoever is providing the service, they could, be, they could be years old at this point in time. Chances are they didn't put a lot of effort into creating a profile or anything like that, but uh, you can see something like this uh, 2017, maybe. Ashley Kersey. Fahim also seems to like to use real names uh, for his giveaway winners. Um, I guess maybe that makes it seem more like a person, less suspicious, but I mean, we're going to catch them every time, no matter what. October 5th, 2021, another brand new account since Fahim started scamming people. Camille Alitmez. Feb 6, 2020, so not brand new, but pretty new. We got 2013, Leon M. Whole lot of nothing here. Again, that's not uh, necessarily an indicator. Uh, it could be just that they don't uh, they don't care about any of that stuff. But at the same time, if you're if you're commenting happy ten thousand, happy twenty thousand, whatever the shit he asks you to say in his video twenty times, um, you should be paying enough attention to uh, to notice. Not that everyone does pay attention because I know they don't. Uh, I do not know how this works. If there's anything that is a dead giveaway burner account, it might be that um, you're just typing in random sentences without spaces to create your uh, your alt accounts, August 23rd, 2021. Very cool. Another Fahim era. Sioki lore. Uh, November 18, 2019. So, older. But, again, maybe bought. September 2nd, 2021. Another Fahim era. Stacio Q. 2021, August, another Fahim era. J-Loading. Again, if you guys, uh, if you want to 2x this part, uh, go to town. Uh, August 21st, 2021, another Fahim. Period, Sima Zadkanin. September 12th, 2021. Again, probably get the point of it at this point. But uh, we'll go through, just in case. Um, another 2020. Brand new account. Uh, 2021, May, so a little bit older, but again, probably a fake account. August 25th, 2021. Look at that. It's when Fahim was uploading videos. Chris Sane. October 1st, 2021. That's uh, Fahimer. John Power. So here we got some uh, subscriptions showing. It's convenient that they're they're following that many people, um, but uh, they're also following Fahim here. Maybe we should look at uh, this account here. It seems like they're following all big people. Maybe this is another instance of uh, following all big people and Fahim. This is January 2021. Um, so... No indication there of where uh, they are. If it was another Australian account, I think uh, there would be cause for concern, but maybe not. Maybe just coincidence that he's following two smaller channels and one of them has happens to be Fahim. Um, who knows? 2019, blank account. September 2021, that's a Fahimer, if I've ever seen it. Zero, zero, Seth. So, um... This is January 24th, 2021, so it was before Fahim's time, but again, it looks uh, like it might be a bot account. Jennifer Barber, blank account, May 2021, probably another bot. Sam Van Klangengen, uh, 2019, blanker. Here we go, January 2021, Evo Sunny, um, and this person, I think, commented many times, so I had to remove them. We might end up running into that account again here because I try to only have one open for each one, but uh, someone multi-posting and uh, what looks like a very fake account. Uh, a lot of these people also didn't even enter a giveaway. They're just commenting uh, for the sake of commenting. So 
May 2021. Are they doing that? Be oh, there it is. I think there might have been like three comments or something from this one person that looks like a bot account, which obviously isn't going to win the giveaway, but uh, I guess that doesn't really matter. It's interaction when you're Fahim and you're faking it. You might as well have them comment like 20 times. May 27th, 2021. Uh, just N-O. No. The, uh, the no account. Jore. Uh, so here we go. July 14th, 2021. So this would have been right before the Pokemon video started, but... Uh, Again, could be a bot. Could be that he started making burner accounts before he actually started scamming people. Sam Van Krangelgen, 2019 blank account, 5-minute computer hacks, September 29th, 2021. So it looks like it would be a channel, but it's not really a channel. Um, they just made an account. So is this uh, something, maybe this is a future winner? Uh, and they'll have some uploads of like five minute computer hacks that uh, Fahim will put together himself. That'd be pretty interesting. Amir, June 10th, 2021. Okay. Zane Matar, whole lot of blank, September 24th, 2021. More Fahim era. Oh, I think we saw this guy already. We did. September 9th, 2021, with that one upload. Hacker325MH. Very believable username, uh, April 23rd, 2021. So probably a bot account. Jerry Koo, March 2nd, 2021. Kaz, October 23rd, 2021. So this could be uh, Fahim himself, um, or maybe a, a new robot account to replace some of the old ones that got banned. Here we go, May 18th, 2021, Rick Netherlands. Okay, okay. Carver. Weird that uh, they also have followers without any videos or anything like that. Certainly strange. Um, unless someone's keeping track of them, like someone that owns the bots that Fahim's purchasing, or maybe Fahim himself is following them. Uh, just to be able to, to keep track or keep tabs on all these fake accounts. So here we got, uh, we got one upload, uh, August. 2021, okay, maybe, Win Adam, 2020, looks like another bot account, Cass Hermans, 2020, looks like another bot account, Eric Suh, 2020, probably a bot account, Nick V, 2020, Poke Kid Kid, Nothing uploaded, July 14th, 2021. Maybe it's a real person. Maybe it's uh, one of the kids that hasn't uploaded his uh, Roblox shit yet. Tom Keat, March 2021. IMRE, 2020, blank account, Otis Hughes. 2020, blank account, Fanatic Pulse. Very cute. September 10th, 2021, right in the time frame where Fahim is faking giveaways. Sune Max. They have a picture. Uh, April 30th, 2021. So maybe a bot account with a little bit of extra effort. Fidel Rolden. May 18th, 2021. Probably a bot. Gavin Duffel. March 2021. Maybe a bot, maybe a person, maybe a person that just just made an account recently. October fourth, twenty twenty one, Keenan Fortuin. Is that you, Fahim? Did you make this account? Michael Velasco. So I'm sure none of these would be the actual uh, winner of a Fahim giveaway at this point, unless he modifies the channel. Um, but I would assume that he would at least do it on an older account, either get one from someone or give it to a friend or something like that. Uh, it would at least make it less obvious. What do you want? It's a pretty burnerish name. Danish Hekel, May 3rd, 2021, probably a bot. Dawson Power, 2020, probably a bot. ZZZ, very original. Uh, October 5th, 2021. 
Probably a Fahim bot. We got Poke Bladder. Um, and I included. I think I included this one because it was September 1st, 2021. But they, they did upload a picture and a background. So I guess there's points for that. Malky Bajo. August 28th, 2021. Fahim. That's your time, buddy. Aaron Edgemelaeus. Blank account, 2020. Definitely, maybe a bot. React with Jax. One subscriber. August 15th, 2020. So, I don't know. This could have been just like someone was making an account uh, and they were going to react and their name was Jack, but then they decided not to and instead they just commented on a Fahim video later on. Tiango. October 2nd, 2021. Looking pretty Fahimish. Alex Luigi. August 19th, 2021. That's the Fahim era. Dane Alangardon. September 8th, 2021. Brand new account. Lulu Lulu. Um, this one just kind of looks a little sketchy uh, with the double Lulu. Uh, typically, if it's not a name there, it's like a first name Lulu, last name Lulu. Um, maybe a bot account. Don't know. Zabo. 2017. This is a vintage bot account. If it is a bot account, it's Nate. So we got we got a picture here. They got a Pikachu picture. At least they're into Pokemon, right? September sixteenth, twenty twenty one. Welcome to my channel. So maybe this was the start of uh, some effort being put into an account. So it doesn't look like a bot. We have Alex Weaver. August eleventh, twenty twenty one. Lee Remnant, August 1st, 2020. So a little bit uh, year old bot account. Merkamon, August 24th, 2021. Eric Hess, August 14th, 2021. James Goodman, January 4th, 2021. So a little bit older, but I don't know. Maybe this is a real person that created an account this year. Um, but uh, maybe it's a bot. Don't know. Um, so here we had uh, this was sort of interesting because uh, this T Brown account joined August 30th, 2021, which is in the Fahim era. Uh, they have 11 subscribers. They uploaded videos. They follow Fahim. But they also follow an account with the same name. And they're from Australia. And that account follows the other account. It's just a, it's just a loop. And that was May 2021. I don't know. That maybe that's a, a dead end. Maybe that's Fahim's understudy. Scamming understudy. Aaron Farmer, September 4th, 2021. And that's it, guys. That's what I have for you. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys see anything that I don't, uh, if you think that the sheer amount of comments from accounts that are brand new or have nothing on them are fishy, so do I. See you next time. See you eventually, Fahim. Hopefully. We'd, uh, we'd like to see you back. I'm running out of... Uh, content to expose someday we'll get through all of it see ya